I'm Nicholas Bowsey here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, outside the Adams County Courthouse, where many voters are dropping off their ballots for the 2020 presidential election. Adams County voted overwhelmingly for President Trump in 2016. Let's see what voters here are saying about Trump against Joe Biden in the 2020 election. So who did you wind up supporting in the election and why? Oh, Biden. And why did you vote for Biden? He's stable. <laughs> He's uh, stable. He cares. He's logical. He's reasonable. He listens to his experts. He, he would appoint uh, suitable uh, cabinet members. Trump's just a butthead. That's all there is to it. Yeah, the only reason I voted Trump last time is to keep uh, uh, Clinton from getting in. So now I'll go back to being a Democrat. So you were a Trump supporter in 2016? Yeah, only because I didn't have a choice. If they ran Bernie, I'd have voted for him. He'd have won by a landslide. So this year I decided to support uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for president and vice president. I just feel like the, the country needs a little bit more stability. And I think, you know, we need to uh, bring some, you know, Democrats back in, into the White House and kind of straighten things up. <laughs> Was there a specific uh, issue that drove you uh, here to uh, vote for Biden? Uh, women's rights, gay equality, everything that's going on with the Supreme Court, um, yeah, <laughs> it needs to be addressed. Same thing, everything that Trump is, is against, um, you know, we're, we're, from, we're so diametrically opposed to Trump that um, there was just no way we were going to let this thing go, to, go uh, at risk or anything like that. We're just, uh, we, he has to go. You guys are dropping off ballots today here at the uh, election office. Who did you decide to vote for and why? Trump. Because if, if Biden takes over, it's the end of democracy as you know it. So, in simple terms. Any specific issue that drove you to uh, support Trump? Uh, yeah, as far left as the Democrats went, they're no longer the Democratic Party. They're a terrorist organization. Hasn't put us into a new war. Uh, largest economy we had until Democrats tanked it over this coronavirus hoax and my 401k has risen more in the last three and a half years than it did the prior eight years to that. So why would I go for somebody that wants to tax us to death, defund the police and uh, cause havoc in our streets? The issue that influenced me most to vote for Biden this year was the state of divisiveness in our country that I think is just destroying our country. And I think that four more years of Trump would just make four more years of a deep divide. And I'd like to see that turned around. And who are you gonna vote for and why? I'm gonna vote for Trump. And why are you voting for Trump? Because of the issues. I ain't voting for the man, I'm voting for the issues. Which issue is the most important uh, to you that would make you vote for Trump again? Uh, the Constitution. First Amendment, Second Amendment. I'm a Catholic and I believe in it. I believe uh, and I'm against abortion. And I don't want him to close, I don't want Biden to close the, the churches. I'm supporting Joe Biden. Um, I guess I'm really just wanting to have experts hired for the various posts in the government instead of um, people who are allegiant, have allegiance to a, a person. I'm wanting to see clean water and clean air and other environmental actions go forward. Well, I saw a yard sign lately that I wish I had in my yard. I have a Biden-Harris sign in my yard, and that one says I'd vote for anyone but Trump. I kind of like that yard sign. Is your vote more a vote against Trump than it is for Biden, or do you like Biden for specific reasons? I do. I do like him. He wouldn't be my first choice, though. So, um, I probably would have liked someone more progressive. So far, I haven't really decided on who I want to vote yet because I, I've been reading about some of the stuff that's been going on, but I'm not entirely sure who I'm going to vote for. But as of right now, I can tell you I'm probably going to vote for Biden for the most part. But I need more research to solidify that kind of is there a certain issue that's most important to you that would influence you to go one way or the other? Uh, the biggest issue for me right now is probably health care. 
and stuff like that for the elderly and obviously for the young and stuff like that because we're going through a pandemic right now and I want to see more improvements and stuff like that as far as how serious we're taking this virus. So you're a registered Republican. Did you support Trump in 2016? No. No? No. I just didn't think he was man for the, for the job. Now I think that proved out. I think that proved out. Is there a specific issue that made you decide to vote for Biden, like the economy or health care, anything specific? Well, I, th I think, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a senior, uh, Medicare, uh, Social Security. I like to know that my back's covered. I don't want to know that he's going to try to take away, uh, not Biden, but Trump's going to want to try, try to get rid of the Medicare tax. And Social Security office himself says well, we'll be out of money in 2023. That's only three years away. Okay, and who did you, have you decided who to vote for? The president? Yeah, Trump. All the way. 2020. And Straight what, up. And why did you decide to vote for Trump? Over Biden? Because he has better, better head on his shoulders than what, than Biden. You know, he can't hold, he can't, he can't even hold a conversation for God's sake. And, he, and I don't want my taxes raised because I don't, I don't, I don't get that much anyhow because I'm disabled. And I'm getting, and I'm getting tired of him, uh, hearing, hearing Biden telling all that bullshit. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I just, I'd rather have another four years of Trump, and maybe have another four years with his son come up in there. Reporting in Gettysburg, Virginia, for Just the News, I'm Nicholas Ballacy.